This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to look at bond enthalpies. So let's start with a definition. Average bond enthalpy is the energy needed to break one mole of bonds in a gaseous molecule, and that's averaged over similar compounds. In table 11 of the data booklet, you'll find the average bond enthalpy values for single bonds, and below table 11, you'll find the values for multiple bonds. A chemical reaction involves the breaking and making of chemical bonds. Bond breaking is endothermic. Energy is required to break a bond. Bond making is exothermic. Energy is released when bonds are made. To calculate the enthalpy change for a reaction using average bond enthalpies, we can use this equation. So it's the change in enthalpy equals the sum of the bonds broken minus the sum of the bonds made. And next, we'll have a look at an example using this equation. In this example, we're going to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. That's methane burning in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. As you can see, I've drawn out the structural formula of the methane, the oxygen, the carbon dioxide and the water. This allows us to see how many of which bond are being broken and how many of which bond are being made. And then we'll use the equation at the bottom that's the change in enthalpy equals the sum of the bonds broken, so that's the bonds broken in the reactants, minus the sum of the bonds made, that's the bonds made in the products. In one mole of methane, there are four moles of carbon to hydrogen bonds, and each mole of carbon to hydrogen bonds requires 414 kilojoules of energy to break, so I've multiplied that value by four. The energy required to break one mole of oxygen to oxygen double bonds is 498 kilojoules, but we have two moles of oxygen, so we multiply the value by two. Next, we'll move on to the products. One mole of carbon dioxide has two moles of carbon to oxygen double bonds. The energy required to break one mole of carbon to oxygen double bonds is 804 kilojoules, so I multiply that value by two, because we have two moles of carbon to oxygen double bonds. And finally, the water. We have two moles of water, and that's four moles of oxygen to hydrogen single bonds. The energy required to break one mole of oxygen to hydrogen single bonds is 463 kilojoules, so we multiply that value by four, because we have four oxygen to hydrogen single bonds. So when we do the calculation, the sum of the bonds broken in the reactants is 2,652 kilojoules and the sum of the bonds made in the products is 3,460 kilojoules. So that gives us an enthalpy change of negative 808 kilojoules per mole. The literature value for the enthalpy of combustion of methane is negative 891 kilojoules per mole. The difference between the literature value and the value that we just calculated using average bond enthalpies is due to two factors. The first one is average bond enthalpies are only valid for gases. Water was a liquid in the previous example. And the second factor is the actual value for the specific bond may be different to the average value. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.